Hello everyone, welcome to your workout with Roxanne. Today we've got a 15 minute full body beginner kettlebell session. In this workout, I'm gonna be guiding you through the whole workout. You guys have got 12 exercises, working 60 seconds on, 20 seconds off. You guys are also gonna need your kettlebells. And I'm gonna display the weight of each kettlebell I'm using with the exercise for reference. But you guys use the weight that's right for you. And then guys, when you are ready, grab your mat, grab your water, and we'll get started. So we'll grab hold of our kettlebell. I'm gonna start off with the halo. So you're gonna hold onto each side of the kettlebell handle, bicep curl that kettlebell in, and then keeping the kettlebell close to your head, you're gonna guide it around the back of your head, all the way around, keep it nice and close, bring it back in front of your body. Inhale around, exhale, bringing it back. Let's go guys. So make sure we're keeping that core engaged the whole time. We want a slight tuck under of the tailbone, draw the belly in, and then our ribs are gonna be tucked in. We're gonna be alternating each direction, keeping that kettlebell close as we guide it around the back of the head, and then change direction, taking it the other way. Make sure as you guide the kettlebell behind your head, your ribs are not gonna poke out. You wanna keep them tucked under and keep thinking about tensing those abs. Awesome work, guys. Nice and controlled, slow movements. 10 seconds. Last two, one. Great work, guys. Next, we're gonna come onto our deadlift. So I'm gonna pick a heavier kettlebell for my lower body. So shoulders down, tense those abs. Kettlebell stays in close to your body. You're gonna hinge those hips back, keeping a straight spine, press those hips back. As soon as your hips stop traveling backwards, you're gonna to start to bend your knees and guide the kettlebell down towards the floor. Exhale, drive from the heels, press up. Send those hips back, keep that core engaged. Kettlebell stays close to the shins, shoulders down from the ears. Guide the kettlebell towards the floor, bending the knees. And you want your hips about halfway in between your shoulders and your knees. But that will vary depending on how tall you are, how long your legs are, how short your arms are. So just go to the depth that's right for you and then drive straight back up. Inhale as we lower, exhale as we lift. And check out your knees, make sure they're pressing out towards your pinky toes so we don't know those knees caving in. Almost done guys, you're doing amazing. Inhale lower, exhale lift. Amazing work guys. Next exercise, we've got the wide squat. So I'm gonna stay with that heavy kettlebell. Send those feet out to about a 45 degree angle, wider than hip distance apart. Shoulders down, tense those abs, slight tuck under the tailbone. Drop those hips directly down, pushing your knees out towards your pinky toes. Kettlebell lowers down towards the floor. And then as you exhale, drive from the heels, press straight back up. Inhale, drop those hips directly down, pushing those knees out to the pinky toe. Exhale, we lift. So you want to be screwing your heels into the ground and that's going to turn on your glutes. So as you press your knees out, push those heels down, drive from the heels straight back up. Inhale lower, exhale lift, you'll feel your glutes squeezing. Keep tensing those abs, relaxing those shoulders. Inhale, lower. Exhale, drive from the heels to press. You guys are doing amazing. 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna move on to some more upper body exercises. Amazing guys, going on to our gorilla row. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, just with our back exercises. So like with the end of the deadlift, Hinge those hips back, slight bend of the knees, feet about hip distance apart. Grab hold of the kettlebell with your left hand. Your other hand can rest on your thigh for support. Shoulders down from the ears. Exhale, you're gonna drive that elbow up. 
keep that kettlebell close to the left hip, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and then you're gonna lower back down. Exhale, drive the elbow up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, think elbow drives rather than pull with the hands. And you're driving that kettlebell towards that left hip. Squeeze the shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. And make sure that your shoulders are not scrunched up by your ears, you're pushing them down into the sockets the whole time. So shoulders stay pressed in the sockets, drive that elbow up, squeeze the shoulder blades. 10 more seconds left before we're gonna swap over to the other side. Last two and one. Shake it out, quick shake out. Swap over to the other side. Get in that position again, shift those hips back. Don't forget to tense those abs. We're gonna drive the elbow up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, shoulders down away from the ears. Ready? Let's go guys. Exhale, lift, inhale to lower. Now making sure that that spine is staying straight, tensing those abs. You might even feel a nice stretch down the back of the hamstrings. That's perfectly normal. Shoulders stay in the sockets as we drive back. Kettlebell drives towards that right hip bone. And again, think pulling up with the elbow rather than the hands. Exhale. Inhale, control down. Squeeze the shoulder blades. 20 more seconds. But guys, you've got this. Keep those shoulders in the sockets. Tense those abs if you've let them go. Last four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys, shaking it out. We're gonna go into some Romanian deadlifts. So shoulders in the sockets, tense those abs. Send those hips back, feet hip distance apart. Keep shifting those hips back. Hinging from the hips, keeping that kettlebell close to the shins. As soon as you feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings, back is straight, you're gonna drive straight with those heels, stand back up. Hinge the hips backwards, keep that kettlebell close. Slight bend in the knees. As soon as you feel that stretch in the back of the hamstrings, drive from the heels, straight back up. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. So with this movement, we don't want to be bending the knees more than a slight bend. That makes sense. So there's no excessive bending of the knees, just soft knees as you shift those hips back and then drive from the heels, stand straight back up. Inhale, exhale to lift. Last bit now, guys, you're doing amazing. We are nearly over halfway. Two, one. Awesome work, guys. We're gonna work our arms now. Curl, press, and extend. Taking that overhand grip of each corner of the kettlebell, the handle. We're gonna bicep curl in, keep those elbows in close. Press the kettlebell over your head. Then pinning those elbows into your ears. Kettlebell goes behind the head. Bend at the elbows. Exhale, press straight back up. Control the kettlebell back down to your chest and then extend your arms. Make sure those abs are tensed, slight tuck under the tailbone. We bend at the elbows, curl, press, pin those elbows in close to the ears. Lower the kettlebell down behind your head, press straight back up. Make sure those ribs are tucked in. We draw the belly in, tense those abs. As your arms are extended, make sure those ribs are not flaring. Tuck them in, tense the abs, squeeze the glutes. Last bit now, guys, you've got this. Make sure we're not flaring those elbows. Three, two, one. We're gonna move onto the floor and work our glutes. So lying all the way down, 
relax your head, relax your shoulders, feet hip distance apart. I'm going to place the kettlebell on my pubic bone, but wherever is comfortable for you, holding onto the sides. Shoulders down in the sockets. We're going to inhale. Exhale, drive from the heels. Thrust those hips up. Inhale, lower down, tap the hips. Exhale, press those hips up. So our spine stays straight. Inhale to lower. Exhale, we drive from the heels. Press the hips. You want your hips in line with your shoulders and your knees in a diagonal. So we don't want to be overarching the back. We want to tuck the tailbone under at the top. Knees are tracking in line with your pinky toe and they're going to be directly over your ankles. Inhale, we lower down. Exhale, we press. If your feet are too far away, then you're going to work more the hamstrings. Or if they're too close, then you're going to feel it in the quads. We want those ankles under the knees. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, make sure you're pressing the knees out to the pinky toe. Drive the heels up, the hips up. <laughs> Tuck the tailbone under at the top and squeeze the booty. Inhale, lower. Well done, guys. Next, we have got our chest press in tabletop. So we're going to lie all the way down still. Bring the feet into tabletop position. So in this position, you want your back completely flat to the mat, knees at 90 degrees. Holding onto each side of the kettlebell with your thumbs hooked round the handle. Keep those elbows in close. Exhale, we're going to press the kettlebell over the chest. Inhale, we're going to control back down. Exhale, press. Inhale, control. Exhale, we lift. Elbows come down to our sides, close to the ribs. Exhale, directly over the chest, not the face. Inhale, control. Exhale, lift. Now check in with your back. Make sure that it's staying pressed down towards the mat. Your ribs are staying tucked in and we're drawing the belly down. Awesome work, guys. 15 more seconds of the chest press. As you press, then you want to squeeze those chest muscles together. Inhale, relax down. Exhale, we lift. Amazing work, guys. We're going to bring our feet back down onto the floor. We want a neutral spine. Extend the kettlebell over your chest. And then tuck those ribs in, press your back down towards the flat. We're going to imprint the spine. Inhale, we're going to go into our pullover. We're going to extend our arms over our head, keep those arms straight. And then you're going to bring that kettlebell directly over your chest. And then from here, we're going to ab curl up, punch the kettlebell up to the sky, draw your ribs to your hips, lift the shoulders off the mat. Lower the shoulders back down, guide the kettlebell over your head, keeping those arms straight. Exhale back to center over the chest, ab curl is up, punch the dumbbell up the dumbbell, the kettlebell, up to the sky. Lower down, extend, and then exhale, we lift. Inhale, kettlebell goes over, keep those ribs tucked in. Exhale, lift up to the sky. Breathe in and out. You guys are doing amazing. Last five, four, Three, two, and one. Well done. We're going to go into some torso twists now. So sit up on your mat. Take hold of the kettlebell. Keep holding onto each side. You're going to have your heels on the mat. Knees are bent. Tuck that tailbone under. You're going to roll back halfway. Engage the core. Relax the shoulders. You're going to tap the kettlebell down to the left. Back to centre. And then to the right. Back to centre. So your eyes are going to follow the kettlebell the whole time. And then think about twisting from the waist, opening your shoulders up as you twist to the side, back to centre, twist from the waist, try and open that chest out as you twist to the side. So your hips are going to stay facing forwards the whole time. No movement is coming from the knees or the feet, they're staying straight. 20 more seconds, guys, you've got this. Inhale, tap over, exhale, twist back. Inhale, tap over, 
exhale. Make sure your eyes are following the hands. Last bit now, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing work, guys. You have got one last exercise to do and then you are all done. We're gonna get into a low plank position. Hands under your shoulders, coming onto your knees, into your four point kneel position. Lower those hips down, tuck the tailbone under in your low plank position. Shoulders, hips and knees wanna be in that diagonal alignment. You can either stay here in the holding the plank position, squeezing the glutes, or we're gonna go into some kettlebell taps. You're gonna tap the top of the kettlebell, place your hand back down under your shoulders. Tap, down. Now when you lift your hand to tap, we don't want any rocking or movement of the hips. We wanna make sure our body stays as still as possible, transferring the weight to each hand each time. Keep squeezing the glutes and drawing the belly in, tensing those abs. You guys got 20 seconds. Can you come onto your toes? Lift those knees. We tap, place it down. Tap and down. You've got this, guys. Keep that core strong. Last 10. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, guys. Well done, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today for your full body workout. I hope you guys are enjoying all of these sessions. If you guys are enjoying these workouts, then the best way that you can support this YouTube channel is by hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. So then the algorithm will send us out to more and more people and they can enjoy these workouts just like you do. Thank you guys again to everyone who has subscribed. You know, I really appreciate it so much. And I will see you all again in our next workout.